Askrodid by Common Transition 973. Non Texans, what are your thoughts when you hear Texas? Literally just the shape of the state itself as seen from a map or something. I picture the state of Texas wearing a cowboy hat. In my native Norwegian the term complete Texas means chaos or out of control. Turk here, saying. We have a saying this is not Texas to mean there is order. Cadillacs with giant horns on the front driven by old men in white suits with big white cowboy hats and superbly trimmed mustaches. Deleted. All my exes live in Texas. Is Texas a place you like to be? Yet you hang your hat in Tennessee? Sandy Cheeks singing that stupid song that's been stuck in my head since I was 6. Edit, what have I done? Wish I was back in Texas, the ocean's no place for a squirrel. Folks down there are Texans first and Americans second. As a Texan, many down here are Texas first Texans second as well. That boy ain't right, I tell ya what. Propane and propane accessories. All hat and no cattle. Kmart cowboys. I'm from UK, I think, trucks, tornadoes, guns, car dependency, freedom and American flags. Lone Star flag first. Nothing but steers and queers full metal jacket. 5 foot 9? I didn't know they stacked shit that high. Barbecue. Don't get me wrong we've got it here in the UK but it's nothing like what I've seen from across the pond. Burnt ends, beef ribs, smoked brisket. I've only ever seen it on YouTube and I envy those of you who have tasted it. Brother, it's worth a plane ticket and a few days in Austin. You only live once. In my company, in a country on the opposite side of the planet from Texas. Gone Texas is a term used to describe a software program that has frozen up to the point where even task manager can't have bought it. Otherwise we don't think about it very much, except perhaps with mild horror. A common phrase in Norway as well is it's completely Texas or totally Texas it's used when something is out of hand, or over the top. I believe it's from when Norway first discovered oil, a lot of Texans came over to Norway to work in the early days, and they were mostly focused on getting the job done. Even though it was unsafe or a bit crazy dangerous. Hey Patrick. What am I now? To which Patrick replies, UHH, stupid prompting Spongebob to say, no, I'm Texas Patrick then says, what's the difference? And the way Sandy gets offended is peak steer ear type of how Texans would react. Heavy set white people with guns and large cowboy hats yelling don't mess with Texas. My favorite part of Don't Mess With Texas is that comes across as this slogan about how tough and bad us Texans are, but in reality it was an effective anti-littering campaign from the Department of Transportation. Whataburger. Edit, thanks for the award kind strangers. Fancy ketchup. 1. My blog, Texas Shaped Things, https colon slash slash. Texashaped.tumlr.com close bracket. Because I am fascinated with this. 2. My BF who is from Texas. He says he hates it, but he has a full-size Texas flag mounted under plexiglass hanging over his bed. In Norway it is literally used as a synonym for chaos or crazy. Which is really weird BC it should be Florida hahaha. <laughs> If Saudi Arabia was Christian. Yol Quida. The stars at night are big and bright. Also, single action revolvers for some reason. Clap 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 clap. Sorry, I'm from Texas and it's required. What Europeans think of Americans is what Americans think of Texans. Edit, you all misunderstood my comment big time. 
I'm calling y'all out for being ignorant when making assumptions about the US Texas. Yeah I think that's the best way to explain Texas. Scared ass cops. Yup. My view of a Texas lawman will never be the same. Tough talking when dealing with decent and damp. Law abiding people vs waiting around and damp. Sanitizing their hands for an hour while avoiding the dangerous criminals. I think of Gilead but with cowboy hats. Their abortion laws and the Evaldi fiasco do not paint any sort of a positive image of Texas unfortunately. I am from India, never been outside India. I do read some news and watch YouTube. Here are the words, barbecue, burger, guns. Loud. I swear the people at the Dallas airport are always so loud. It's okay. Hating on Dallas is also a Texan pastime. Why ee 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 whore. Yay. And I cannot stress this enough, whore. A state with a weirdly intense rivalry against California. Doubly weird considering they're separated by two whole states. Is it a rivalry or does Texas just hate California? It used to be they're tough. And don't take any shit from the government. Now it's I can't believe the tough guys became such pussies. Who invite the government into their bedroom. And rat out their neighbors. Invite the government into their bedrooms and rat out their neighbors. That's a pretty good way to put it. Ted Cruz, Greg Abbott, and Louis Gommert. Also, Ann Richards and Molly Ivins. I miss Ann Richards so much. Her sense of humor was so perfectly Texan. Mixture of church and state which is ironically exactly what the US was founded against in terms of government authority. Pretty sure there is still a law on the books that says atheists can't hold a political office in Texas. They literally put into law a requirement that you believe in gods. Granted, the Supreme Court said such requirements were unconstitutional back in the 60s, but given what the court is currently doing with established precedent, that isn't much consolation. Like house cats fiercely convinced of their independence while also almost entirely reliant on a system that they neither fully understand nor appreciate. 